I grew up for most of my adult life living in Montana, and it's been a really special place to me. It's where I really discovered climbing. It's one of the most wild places I've ever been, and also one of the most welcoming and humbling. And that's definitely the experience that we had on Granite Peak. You know, Granite Peak is a beautiful peak that's rocky and offers true alpine climbing. It was our first chance to be out overnight, climbing through the night, and see how that actually worked. After a full day's descent of Granite Peak, uh, we jumped in the car and drove all night to Idaho, where my family was waiting for me. Idaho has a lot of significance for me. Um, I grew up, I was born and raised in Sun Valley, Idaho. And my dad and I planned that he would come meet me on Bora, and um, he brought my brother and my brother's friend, and that was like the best. It was so good to see them. Bora also has significance because that's where Melissa and I kind of formed this whole idea, formed this whole challenge. I said, oh, this is our second high point together. And she said, what's a high point? <laughs> and I said, well, each state has a high point and you've been to the summit of Rainier and now Bora. And she said, could we do them all? And here we are <laughs> seeing, can we do them all? I don't know, it's still a question mark. After we descended Bora, we said our goodbyes to my family and we hopped in the car again and drove to Wyoming where we were planning to climb Gannett. We are leaving Wyoming without climbing Gannett Peak right now. It's forest fires have come into the area and um, we just don't feel like it would be reasonable to try to climb in this really dense smoke. You know, climbing in dense smoke might be no big deal if that's the only thing you're gonna do for the rest of the summer. I think we have a huge amount of work left after we're done with Gannett Peak. So we made the decision to protect our health and maybe not go push ourselves physically in that really poor air quality and give it a little time to see what happens. So that's a huge risk because it could get worse. The fires could be worse and they could actually block access into the peak and then the entire project would be postponed. been hard to continuously change our schedule and to feel kind of a little bit of hopelessness almost. I really woke up for the first time with this fear in my gut that the goal is not going to be achievable. We have 11 peaks left and we have two weeks to do that and that feels really intimidating and almost impossible.